like I said, this week's show is is kind of like a Pokemon special for no particular reason other than the fact that I like Pokemon. So uh, we have a game tonight that's Pokemon-centric. It's a PC game. I've spent some time getting one of my older PC games to work, which is always a pain in the ass. I mean, it's always an experience. It's always a very, it's a learning experience, okay? But uh, to, for, for tonight's unbox, for tonight's unbox, you may have noticed on the little uh, spinner on the uh, coming soon thing, and so we got some bootleg Pokemon cards. Uh, and in the Discord channel, I, I mentioned, I kind of hinted toward the fact that uh, these, are some, these are some cards that pertain to something that I'm pretty sure like nobody cares about anymore. Uh, people did care about it for a hot second, and then I, I think either people just got tired of it or they got burned out. So, um, you know, I've got, I've got some Pokemon cards. They, they look like normal cards with the the backing that the cards usually have except when I do this well these are Pokemon Go cards and there's another logo there's another logo down there I, I had to cover both of them up so that I wouldn't spoil it some enterprising and probably Chinese uh, people decided to lift the art from the TCG and modify it just a little bit the swirl is different and they've made it Pokemon Go. And I haven't flipped over the card yet, because you can see the one on the bottom back here. We're going to do this together, and I want to make it count. Because I've only looked at the card on the bottom, and it 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 brings a smile to my face every time I, I, I see it. These cards were bizarrely difficult to come, to come across back when I was looking for them a couple years ago. Uh, I, I'd seen a picture of some of them, and I tracked them down. And the thing with the thing with trying to find bootleg vendors intentionally on sites like AliExpress is that uh, finding someone who sells specific bootleg cards sucks because they all steal each other's content and they all post each other's pictures from they they rip the pictures from the listings. So you'll have ten different listings from ten different sellers, but they all use the same fucking, like, seemingly stock photos of Pokemon stuff, so, you know, doing things, I'm not just gonna buy crappy generic bootleg cards. The at one time we, I, I, I specifically tracked down those cards uh, that had hit points and damage points in the, the tens and hundreds of thousands. Yeah, finding those was a pain in the ass, too. And I'm gonna pull them out. And... I'm going to, okay, so I want to make sure I'm not going to flip it over upside down when I reveal the card on the bottom of the deck. Now, some of y'all, Marley, some of y'all are uh, guessing. You know, these cards are probably just screenshots of the game. You would not be incorrect, but you're also not completely correct because they are modified screenshots. So let me just flip this over and demonstrate. We have Tangela, except his name is, his name is Chow Mein. <laughs> and I don't know why this is, I don't think this is a screenshot from the game but it's based on a screenshot from the game but none of the fonts line up unless in China the font packages on the phones display text in I don't know fucking Arial I think is what that's supposed to be <laughs> But if they if they change the name to Chow Mein for potentially copyright reasons, I don't know why. I mean, there's a fucking thing, right? Whatever. Even if they did that, at the bottom, it still says three Tangela candies. So I guess the person who had this caught a whole one Tangela. Because I, th I think you get three candy every time you catch one. Or every... No. No, you have to turn the Pokemon into candy. You have to grind their bones into dust... And then stick him in the machine that makes Neko wafers. I have not touched Pokemon Go in like two years. In fact, let me just let me just be, let me just be straight here. I'm, this is another one of those moments where you guys are gonna call me a fucking Gen One or just a stick in the mud because I talk shit on all the new Mario games. I say they fucking suck because they do. They objectively do. Super Mario 3D World and New Super Mario Brothers as they appear in Super Mario Maker, are fucking garbage. That point is not debatable. That is that is my opinion, but it is also absolute fact. Uh, <laughs> and when it came to Pokemon Go, I loved the idea of it. It was fun to play. But then I got kind of pissy that, like, 
they didn't let you complete the original Pokedex before they just started dumping shit from generations two and three and stuff into it. And that little thing that looks like a metallic ditto with the, the BattleBots nut on its face. I hated that. L at least let me work on one thing at a time. Because I'm going to be honest with you here, I have no interest in completing the Generation 2 Pokedex. I don't even want to log any of those motherfuckers as seen in my Pokemon Go Pokedex. So, uh, I uninstalled the app, and I've never touched it since, and I don't give a shit. Anyways, going back to this card, uh, I don't know if it's a particularly strong one, because it only has 221 attack power. It's also not the owner's favorite. And over here, it's got a... Give me five. And I'm like 90% certain it's because this is supposed to be rock, paper, scissors. But I don't know if you just play this or do you look at the numbers or maybe if you, if they both play a, a handy card, then do you look at the numbers to see whose hand is, who's got the stronger pimp hand? Like, I don't know how that works. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, I'm just going to go to the next card. Uh, we got Chalmain. I hope to God the rest of them have stupid nicknames. So let's just see who's next. Well, I may have spoke a little bit too soon. This is uh, Bulbasaur, nicknamed uh, Bulbasaur. It's also got a fist, so I do. I, I think my, my guess that these were rock, paper, scissors uh, was correct. These are just crop screenshots, because I just now noticed the button down here to turn them into stardust or whatever. Or turn them into candy. <laughs> That's great. So the next one, oh man. Well, the next one is Staryu, and it doesn't have a goofy name. Why is, okay. How come Tangela has the, the nickname of Chalmain, but the others don't? If somebody intentionally started dumping screenshots from their phone with the intent to print them off as cards, why would you start giving them nicknames? Unless you just don't give a shit. Oh, well, we got an... Hang on. <laughs> so we have an Eevee here, but out of the corner of my eye, I mean, let's just focus in on Eevee. He's got these weird... The, 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 I, I'm, sure you, I'm sure you noticed that the holofoil on these cards is that weird pinwheel shit that they had on those rulers everyone had when we were in, like, first grade. So focusing on this is a pain in the ass. It's an Eevee. Hi, Eevee. And if we scroll down, what's wrong with this picture? I'll give you a hint. We're feeding Snorlax candy to this Eevee. How do you do that? Are these, is it, okay. Is it a template? And they're just changing all this stuff? If so, why are they going through the trouble when they could just be dumping screen? How do you end up with Snorlax candy on an Eevee card? Okay. We have it. We have no. We have a Caterpie. Skip to the next card. Oh, we got. Well, we got uh, Nidorino. This one's. This one's for Fandramon. Well, okay. So again, as we're going through the, these cards, I mean, I have a whole stack here. We might have some dupes. Again, it's only Tangela. That's the odd one out that has the, that has the weird name. <laughs> Yeah, because we've got an Electabuzz with, with these. Uh, okay. 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 <laughs> it took me a second. We, we have a Blastoise here. Uh, I, who I believe is in prison because he's only been issued a number. Uh, this is a Blastoise named uh, 946. He's also uh, got one of these. He's, I think that's the first scissors card we've gotten. Yeah, that's the first one. <laughs> How do you end up with this? Assuming assuming that they... Okay, Daemonic Void hi, has hypothesized that maybe there's a, a, a glitch in the... If there's a translation algorithm, which seems a bit strange, but... Okay, I'll play along. How, does, how do you translate the word Blastoise to a number? So, okay, so we've got... Uh... Okay, hang on. Let me finish that thought. We have another card with a weird name that goes in the weird name stack. And this next card is just a bunch of... is just a picture of somebody's collection. They got a tentacle. They've got a bunch of horses. And uh, they got a couple... they got a couple of Gastlys. 
I mean, that's cool, I guess. So assuming there's a game to play with these cards, <laughs> assuming that we're playing a glorified version of Rock, Paper, Scissors, What is this one? And, uh, the... <laughs> okay, so two things, two things just hit me at once here. Here's a Vaporeon. If, if it's fucking, here's a Vaporeon named Rainer. Let me step you through this, okay? Let me step you through this. Because this this is a this is a fucking throwback that I didn't think I would actually see. Uh Fangemon has already pointed out Rainer is the nickname from the Vaporeon in the anime. Um Yes. But Rainer, okay, oh my god. Back in my day in the days when there was only the one generation, there were all these made-up Pokemon called Poke Gods. And Missing No kind of opened the floodgates to that because there was something outside of the Pokedex and people just went fucking bonkers. So all sorts of Pokemon in the game had evolutions that you could totally absolutely get for sure if you only found the mist stone which you do by beating the elite four 500 times and then you use the item finder in in the professor oak lab a hundred times and then you evolve pikachu with a thunderstone right where mewtwo was standing right that's how you get the mist stone totally guaranteed myth confirmed not busted so they used to say that uh, 946 here had an evolution in Generation 1 that was called Rainer. It was called Rainer. And I don't know if that name was actually sourced from the anime. That may have just been a happy accident. Because like, like Fangemon pointed out, there was a Vaporeon in the anime named Rainer. And just like back in the glory days of the games, there were a bunch of bullshit rumors about Pokemon Go, specifically if you caught an Eevee and you named it Rainer, that when you evolved the Eevee, it would always evolve into Vaporeon because of the nickname that you gave it. I don't know if that was ever proven to be true, because I think Eevee just had a 33% chance to evolve into one of its three Generation 1 evolutions when the game first came out. So, this could have just been the placebo effect, and somebody either nicknamed it before or after the fact... But they took a screenshot of the Vaporeon named Rainer, and... Well, there you have it. My god. Okay, so that's that's your Pokemon history lesson for, for, for the evening. We got Rainer. Uh, we've got Pikachu. He looks to be normal, except for the fact that he's only got 11 points of power. Not a very good card, I guess. Um, Clefairy, again. Nothing really out of the ordinary here. Starmie. Well, we have another Chowmain. Inexplicably with a red border what what's the significant okay i don't i don't know what the significance of a red border is it's not like i got a set of rules that came with these cards when i bought them and if i did i'm 90 percent certain they would have been in chinese anyways i don't know this is the <laughs> this is the rare chow mein. the red border chow whoa okay well here's a magmar with the name that uh i ain't even gonna try to pronounce because that will absolutely sound racist if I try to say that. Is that an... Is that another dish? Is it like chow mein? What is it? I just, because it's, it's an Asian word doesn't mean it came off a Chinese menu, but... That one did. If anybody watching this knows what this translates to and you want to leave me a comment I mean I can kind of guess why Tangle is called Chow Mein I definitely know why this is called Rainer I'm not so sure why uh, Blastoise has a prison number but okay sure are they food are they food because I know for a fact Bok Choy is fucking that's food also hang on I just noticed this when I pulled the card away from the camera this is it's an oddish named bok choy 
and the, can the candies execute candy. Also, wait a minute. Is is this correct? I don't think Oddish is grass and psychic. Isn't it just isn't it grass and poison or just grass? Okay, so we finally we've started getting some dupes. We got a Bulbasaur Necros. Thank you for the Twitch pennies. Uh, somebody was translating these and they got hungry halfway through. <laughs> Somebody's like taking these pictures off their phone and dumping them, cropping them, and Photoshop that I'm sure they did not pay for. I'm, I'm positive that is a pirated copy of Photoshop that they used. And he gets to this. He gets to the Magmar and goes, Chicken wings. Okay, so maybe maybe they are working from a template here because uh, Pidgey here, crappy bird. Nobody likes Pidgey. I'm I'm pretty sure there's like a, there's a KFP in the world of Pokemon, uh, and it's also Snorlax candy, which I think Eevee, yeah, Eevee had that too. So maybe they are working from a template of some sort. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Well, we got we got a dog. We got a we got a fire pupper named Wong Choi. Everybody have fun tonight. Everybody Wong Choi tonight. So since all okay now this is fucked up and I'm not trying to make this one a racist joke but because because they've demonstrated three times now that they're naming them off of food is is the dog also named after food is that is that also what's what's going on here. Uh, not not to insinuate that they eat dog in Asian countries. I mean, they might. I think they do. I, <laughs> I know that's a shitty joke people tell when they eat at an American Chinese restaurant and the food tastes like shit. But, I mean, I mean come on here. Come on. We got grammar. Maybe we'll get a muck card. If we do, I might actually put this with my, uh, my, my favorites that I keep in the drawer down here. That I'm going to do some... I keep telling you guys I'm going to do something with it. And I never do, but... We got Grammar. We got Omanite. We got another Eevee. Okay, another another Starmie. That's that is a really powerful Starmie. It's uh, almost twelve hundred power points. <laughs> I almost went right over Golbat because its name at first glance looked correct. Instead of Golbat, we got Guat. <laughs> Gloom, right back to being normal, I think. Yeah, they even put grass and poison down here for the type, so... Whoever did bok choy... Okay, so wait. They clearly have a template for, for Oddish, with all the information. So, I, I, again, we ended up with one for Execute, for... Okay. This really fascinates me, because I didn't realize so many of these had stupid names. I just saw a lot of these, and I wanted a deck of these cards for myself, but... Uh, I don't know. So wait, you guys know how to spell Golbat. What the fuck is this? Who's Guat? Okay. Well, what? Who? <laughs> Guiling Go. But Go is. That's not the translation of the name of the game, is it? It like Pokemon doesn't translate the Guiling in Chinese, does it? And then it just says Go. How did this, did this Squirtle become the eponymous one? It's like, choose your starter, by the way. I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna pick Squirtle when I start my game. I'm gonna name him Pokemon Blue. Okay, Dr. Surgeon Guy has got Google Translate pulled up, I think. Because he's dropping these in. Uh, apparently it's not Gwaling Go, it's Gwaling Gao. And that translates to Tortoise Jelly. I hope that doesn't mean what I think it means. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> We've just hit a streak, I guess. We got uh, Bun Lai Lai. Is that a okay? Now I know I know they eat duck in China because uh, they make ramen noodles flavored after duck, and you can order roast duck at some of the more like really authentic places. And yeah, depending on where you go, it's pretty damn good. So uh, is uh, this one's got to be food? Uh, is that's a new game? Food or Pokemon or something else or the common name of a dog in Asia? It's one of those. It's one of those. One or the other, or Guat. Whatever Guat is, we're never going to figure that one out. It's going to be the unsolved mystery of the universe. Uh, I, you know, I don't know if, if, if a Tauros named uh, Nagalam kind of tipped you off. Also, how do you get a Tauros with only 24 attack points? Uh, also, I, I, I noticed I think they are copying a template because he's also got Snorlax candy. So that's good. 
That's good. <laughs> Come on. Come. <laughs> we we got a pony that literally named Yeet. Hang on, I'm, I'm, I'm moving a little too fast. According to Demonic Void, Boon Lai uh, is an Asian-American chef. He's a, a leader in the sustainable food movement. So they named a Psyduck after him. I mean, not everybody gets a highway or a library or a, a statue or something named after you. Sometimes you get a duck in a bootleg Pokemon game, and that's that's your legacy. So Boon Lai... Hopefully you get some some other kind of recognition in your life because this ain't worth it. Okay, so we, yeah, we've we've completely gone off the rails. I don't know. We had a whole we had a whole string of cards that was like that was uh, named correctly, and now we've got a, a eradicate named uh, Dai Lo Shu, and they got more Snorlax candy since the last time that we saw one of these. We got thirty four. Oh, so you guys, hang on. I'm, I'm going to have to take a break and blink this. Goose, thank you for the 782. It's a very peculiar number. Okay. Oh, come on. Come on. That doesn't work. Oh, man. That doesn't work on Magic Carp, you stupid... St you know, man. A Magic Carp named Rainer. <laughs> like the type of shit she did like okay this is the type of shit you did when you would like link battle with your friends back in the day and you would catch a magikarp and you would name it mewtwo and then you would bring it to a, a link battle to like play a prank on your buddy right but then you didn't realize until after you got into the the trade battle center the the link cable center cable club that's the word i'm looking for they don't use nicknames in the Cable Club, so your Magikarp that you've named Mewtwo is now in your team as Magikarp. And so is the one that you named the Rainer to try to dupe your friends into thinking you got the Blastoise evolution. And we got... <laughs> we got a Scyther. A Scyther named Fei Tong Long. Now, given the fact that Scyther swings a bunch of swords around, is, is this the name of like a, like a Chinese martial arts actor? Someone like Jackie Chan, but we don't know this person stateside because they're it's not Jackie Chan. But they're popular in like Chinese theater and cinema. Or is this just another dish? There's the Snorlax everyone's got the candy from. I mean he's 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 here. Nidoran with uh no stats or gender. We've got the world's first uh a gender Nidoran. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. It looks like the print fucked up, because it's definitely, it de they definitely tried to print Star You, but I guess the, the black print head was all jacked up, so you can see part of the U there. At first I thought it was just called Star, and I would have been like, best one, you guys win, but we get... Oh, so wait, did Aerodactyl, yeah, Aerodactyl didn't have any combat points. Yeah, it's just gone. No, it's got no, not zero. Okay, round it down. I don't know. Star, uh... Yeah, just more of these. Needle Queen, she she thick. She got that booty like pow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, wait a minute. The, so they, they were doing that thing with the Eevee. Because I remember people also said, okay, you got you got Rainer, the Vaporeon. I think this was the only one that may have been grounded in something from the anime. People also said if you name an Eevee Pyro, it will evolve into Flareon. I don't think that was a thing. Wait, so wait, that actually did work. Are you kidding me? Why would they program something stupid into the game like that? I mean, I guess it's because they didn't have evolutionary stones. I mean, Pokemon Go was not a perfect game, but... It's kind of a weird way to, to like, condition the evolutions of the, the things, to, to name it something. It's... Oh, wait, so wait, did they have... So the... I didn't really watch a whole lot of the anime. They didn't have a... The, the, they didn't carry the TV station that had it where I lived. So the same episode that this came from, they also had the other two evolutions, and they were named this in the American anime as well? Okay, well then I guess that maybe makes it an Easter egg, I guess, if you were paying attention 20 years ago. Okay, so that's the other one then, right? Sparky? Is that tic-tac-toe three in a row? 
Another another chow mein? I'll take two servings, please. Uh, the, put one in a doggy bag, wrap it up, take that one home with me. I'm going to eat the other one here. So I love it so much. Hang on. That ended up in the wrong stack. We've got three of these guys. Uh, Bulbasaur. You get nothing here. Star you where the print didn't screw up. So, <laughs> Dr. Surgeon guy. Not a single energy card. You're right. We're getting some good pulls here on this. I don't remember how much I paid for these either. Uh, I bought these quite a while ago, and they kind of languished in the prop closet because I kind of forgot that I had them. Well, <laughs> also yeah, Fangemon, thank you to the to your Patreon dollars. This unbox was possible. Yeah, Patreon, Twitch pennies, Twitch subs, Streamlabs donations. You guys buy T-shirts and stuff like that. It all helps out. I, all that money gets dumped into the same pot. And uh, once Uncle Sam takes his cut, uh, or once once I set aside the portion for Uncle Sam to come take his cut, whenever that time of the year rolls around, uh, I, I see what's what's left over, and I I reinvest it in the stream. Uh, or if not, I just hang on to it, and I'll get I'll get something else, or I'll use it to pay the internet bill because that's kind of kind of the same thing. It helps me keep the stream online. Uh, these bootleg cards. I wish I could tell you where I bought them, but the 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 vendors on Ally Express and sites like that that pop up. My best advice to you is if you like to go on Ally Express and comb for like weird goofy shit like this, if you see something, buy it. Do not put it on a wish list. Don't bookmark it and come back a day later. Chances are they're going to get shut down. Uh I mean, Nintendo watches sites like that like a hawk. So you can't even really search for Pokemon or Mario and stuff like that. I, I think instead of Mario, you have to search for Maro without the I. And that'll bring up all the games. Um, I don't remember what it was for Pokemon. But just from casually browsing, you can find out what the, the current terms people are using are. Um, but yeah, if you see something weird like this on one of those websites, don't wait. Don't fuck around. Chances are either the seller will get suspended and all their things will get pulled, or they'll run out, they won't have any more, the listing will be deleted. Something will happen and you won't be able to get it. So if you see this, buy it immediately. It's probably only going to be like 7 bucks. That's including shipping. $7. <laughs> Every time I say Uncle Sam, you think of Vanilla Ice. Remember, Uncle Sam! That's a very specific reference that, like, I think only Goose will get. Only. Uh, I used to have a big homemade cardboard standee of Vanilla Ice. Specifically his head, because the rest of the body, I ran out of printer ink. I don't know what happened to it. I need to find out where that went, because I didn't throw it away. But it may have gotten damaged in the hurricane. Probably got thrown away. I'm not sure. But if I find it, I'll put it on the wall behind me. Because I, I had it stuck on the back of my door. When I was uh, when I was younger, when I was in like high school, so if you opened the door and walked into my bedroom, it was like taped on the back side of the door so that it would just be flush against the wall when it was shut. And then when you would come in the room, there would just be a face just looking at you from around the side of the door because it was taped onto the back of the door. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I'm I'm sorry, but uh, so okay. I'm not. I mean, these cards that have the correct names, those that's fun. That's fine and dandy and all. Uh, I don't have any special attachment to these. They're not amusing to me. They're also not definitely not going to go back together. I, just, I could probably... They're all warped to hell and back. I could... Be, uh, I think I almost got it. But out of the, the weird cards, with the weird names, I mean... Now that I know that this Rainer thing actually worked, apparently... This one isn't... I don't like this one anymore. I thought... Because when I looked at this, I didn't know that trick actually worked. I thought in a roundabout way it was like the second coming of one of the Pokemon rumors from, from my childhood. And that's not the case, so I don't give a shit. But uh, I, maybe if I had to pick one that I liked... I think the Blastoise that's just <laughs> named 946... I think is kind of funny because I don't understand how this one happened. With so many of these, like, okay, so clearly Rainer and, and company, those are the those are the tricks that you would do to evolve the Eevee. Uh, this means tortoise jelly, I think, so that's kind of weird. Um, 
this means chicken wings. I'm also going to put chicken wings, the magmar, in my, my favorite pile. But so many of these other ones were just like, they were named after people or uh, where Growlithe went like this one's a really common name for dog and stuff like that. So these are cool. I like them. But okay, you know what? The Magikarp. The Magikarp named the Rainer. That's the one I'm going to go with. Those are my, that's my team right there. That's my top three. Representing, fronting. I'm gonna I'm gonna take on the Elite Four with 946 Sugai Yik and Rainer, who is a Magikarp, not a Vaporeon, not the evolution of Blastoise, not the secret evolution of Blastoise. So we get. <laughs> mm. Anyways, these are uh, that those are the Pokemon Go bootleg cards. I hope you guys enjoyed them. Thank you for uh, thank you for checking it out. I don't know where I'm going with this video. I've just been rambling on about stuff, like, all day. I haven't necessarily had an off day. I've just been, like, I don't know. There's been a lot of things on my mind. Knowing me, I'm probably having, a, like, a fucking manic episode or something, and tomorrow I'm going to feel like shit. But, anyways, uh, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick these cards up. Uh, I'm going to go to Be Right Back real quick. Thanks for checking out this video. Leave a like if you liked it. Leave a dislike if you didn't. Either way, your feedback is appreciated. And you can also subscribe to GatorBox if you like this content and want to see more of it from us. Catch us live Friday nights at 9 p.m. Central at twitch.tv forward slash GatorBox. If you'd like to support this channel, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash GatorBox or streamlabs.com forward slash GatorBox.